Good morning and welcome. So I'm Angela Hubs this morning and uh, this is Marvin. Uh, so welcome to morning yoga. This morning, the theme of the morning is about commitment. Uh, this is, so I watched a video before I started the go live button and um, there's a couple really good videos on commitment. In fact, I'll make sure I share one on my Facebook page. So if you want to see it, I'll definitely share it on my Facebook page. Um, long story short, a lot of the videos that I've seen on commitment are really convicting about how, uh, go sit down, Come here. about how, like, we've never really thrown our whole selves at anything. I, I feel like I'm really committed to the things that I want. I'm really committed to the life that I want and to the things I want to create and how I want to affect people in my sphere. Um, but the proof is in the pudding, isn't it? The proof is in what are you willing to do to get what you want? So a couple weeks ago, my, um, my, my theme of the week was about stepping up, like getting into action. Um, after that, it was about consistency, like regularly doing consistent actions. And so as I got into this this week, it's about building on all these things that we've done already, keeping consistent actions so that you actually get what you want, building the discipline that was last week, building the discipline to, to continue to, to do what you know you need to do regardless of how you feel. And so as we go into this next week, it's about having courage to really just give your whole self into it. So one of the metaphors that I heard in one of the videos that I saw this morning was, okay, so look at your breakfast. There was this, this kid talking to dad, and in school they were learning about commitment uh, versus contribution. And uh, the, the dad said, look, at, look down at your breakfast, son. Look down at your breakfast. And the kid said, okay, it's ham and eggs. The dad said, the chicken, the hen, made a contribution to your breakfast. The pig made a commitment. He threw his whole self into you being able to have breakfast. And I think that's a great metaphor for, did you throw your whole self at it? Another one of the videos that I saw this morning talked about like giving yourself a back door. If you want to take the island, burn the ships. And I think there's some truth to that, that a lot of us aren't burning our ships. There, sit. There you go. Like I said, he has to be involved. He was sitting quite peacefully until I actually hit, I was sitting here, he was sitting right there, and until I hit the go live button, he had to put his tail and his butt right in the camera. Crazy kid. So anyway, so that's my theme of the week. And as we go through this particular practice, I just want you to think about that. Where are you holding yourself back? Where are you not throwing your whole self into your life, into your dreams? And even for me, like that's it's really convicting that there's some things in my life that I'm not throwing my whole self at. And where could I be? Where would I be if I did? Sit up nice and tall. Just let your hands rest in your lap. Take a couple shoulder rolls up and back. Take your head in these little half circles, right side, left side. Drop your chin to your chest, just pause, and then stack your head on top of your shoulders. Nice proud chest, you're sitting up as tall as you can. I just want you to pause. Take a deep breath in. And a full breath out. Interlace your fingers. Turn your hands, palms forward and sit backwards. Take a breath in, reach up, let go. And circle right back to the center. Interlace, turn your hands, palms forward. Inhale. And exhale. 
inhale. Inhale. Exhale. You're going to pause. Sit up tall. Take your right hand to the ground. Get more to the middle. Reach your left hand up and over. I don't want to get too excited. Marvin will move. Touch. Inhale, cartwheel over to the other side. So it's an exhale, touch. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. I want you to imagine you're making yourself longer. You're giving yourself space. Pause, let your knees close, bring your toes past your eyes and let go. Now if you're committed to your health, you're committed to your shape, the second it gets hard, you won't quit. 10, just breathe. Nine, eight, and even as it gets hard, you can modify it, but stay with it. Five, four, three, Two, and that's one. Feet down, drop your knees open, and lean forward. Wink. So as you lean forward, you're gonna take your thumbs to the pads of your feet, open your feet, and lean your body forward. Just breathe. I'm gonna roll up. Nice and easy. Let your knees close. Boat pose number two. Sit up as tall as you can. Find your edge, because you can only grow when you find the edge. And it's scary sometimes to find the edge. It's painful sometimes to find the edge. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Feet down, turn over, and come to all fours. So once you get to all fours, hands right underneath of your shoulders, knees underneath of your hips. Start to find a cat and a cow. Move slowly. Make it feel really nice. Exaggerate the move that's happening. Start to make it a little saucy. You're going to move as your body is asking you to move. Notice if there's any places in your body that's holding any tension. Notice if your body wants to move fast or slow. Pause. You're going to bring your toes together, your knees apart and drop down in between your body. You're gonna take a breath in, roll forward, cow pose. Exhale, cat, to child's play. Press all the way back, drag your hands along the mat. Peel yourself open. Lead with your heart, come all the way forward. Plant your hands. Then listen carefully, okay? So you're gonna to come to all fours. Your right foot is gonna be the kickstand. You're gonna take your right foot to the side. You're gonna take your left leg long. So I'm gonna open up to you. Lift your left hand straight up towards the sky. You're gonna give me one big circle. And just pause for a moment. So what this should feel like is a stretch right in through your waist. You're going to end up lifting this left leg off the floor. Bend it. Grab it. And see if you can open through the front of your body. Now, if that's not doable, that's fine. 
Don't grab it. Instead, just see if you can keep the foot off the floor with the leg long. Five. If you can grab it, kick your foot into your hand, your hand into your foot, so you're opening up through here. Three. Two. One. You're going to let go. Bring both knees together. Both hands sort of together. This is child's play. Press back. Child's pose, and then drag your hands along the mat, hands right beside your hips. Peel yourself open. Take a breath in. And you exhale, leave with your heart. Come all the way forward. Back to all fours. I'm just going to turn this way. So now your left foot is the kickstand. Straighten the right. Right hand straight up towards the sky. I am going to turn towards you. Okay, so we're here. We're in this all fours position, one big circle, reach up and over, pause, lift that right leg off the floor, bend it, grab it. Remember, if you can't grab it, it's okay. Just hold five, four, three, two, one, let go, and then come back to all fours, hands, Just press back, child's play, drag your hands, peel yourself open, crazy cat butt, this is the Marvin show, and then sit down on your butt. Okay, so here's what I'm going to ask you to do, your knees are slightly bent, you're going to hold on to your bent knees and give yourself a little hug. Lengthen your spine, so make your back really flat. You're gonna take a breath in. As you exhale, just surrender forward. Now some of you, this might feel really nice to start to straighten your legs, but here's what I'm after. I actually want, I wanna see if you could start to stretch your back. Can you lengthen your nose forward? Can you surrender your weight? forward. I don't care if you can straighten your legs or not. It's not the point. I just want to see if you can really be here in your body. Instead of trying to look like the yoga magazine, right now just commit to having the pose happen in your body the way it needs to. So no comparing. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Just melt forward. Baby. And breathe. You're gonna let go. You're gonna let your legs go straight. And now I want you to imagine for a second that you're a stapler. So you're gonna keep your legs straight. Again, let go of what it's supposed to look like. Sit up as tall as you can. Take your hands straight up towards the sky. You're gonna take a breath in. Exhale like a stapler. You're just gonna fold in half. And again, I don't care where it goes. Inhale tall. Exhale, fold. One more. Inhale tall. Exhale, fold. And wherever you can grab is where you can grab, whether it's your knees, your ankles, your shins, or your feet. Lengthen, take a breath in. Exhale, fold. So now I do want you to feel the stretch in your hamstrings. You should feel a stretch through the back of your body. Just keep melting forward. Five, four, I know, buddy. three, two, one, and then bring yourself up. Um, so we're going to end up laying down, so you're going to scoop yourself down your mat. Today it's kind of been a little chill. Part of what I'm experiencing in my body, I'm actually not feeling great, like my stomach hurts. And so. Part of having a commitment is being really honest about where you are. Just go ahead and open your hands to a T, drop your knees to the right, and drop your knees to the left. So you're just going to let your knees windshield wiper from side to side. So yeah, having a commitment means you find a way, right? So 
I know it's important to me to do yoga and to be here this morning to do yoga for you, with you. So that doesn't mean, well, since I'm not feeling well, screw it, I won't do yoga. No, I have a commitment that I will be here, right? I have a commitment that I do this in the morning. So maybe I don't jump around. Maybe I don't put my foot over my head today. But I can still keep my commitment. Remember that uh, we can't get attached. Go ahead and stop in the middle and just be really gentle. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Commitment isn't about being attached to what it looks like. It just means throwing your whole self into it. So just think about that. It gives me a lot of freedom that, you know, as long as I'm giving my whole self, it will all work out the way it needs to. <laughs> okay, so you're going to pause. You're going to put both of your feet flat on the floor. You want your feet close enough to your butt that you could tickle your heels if you wanted to. A lot of times when I say that in class, people end up like bringing their foot so close that their heel touches their butt. That's too close. What we're after is taking the knee right over the ankle. So you want to have it oh, there. And the other thing I see is people who have their feet just way too far away. Again, that just puts your knee in a really unsafe position. So you want to be in a place where you're right over. Okay, keep your arms alongside your body. You're going to take a breath in, press into your feet, lift your hips, and then lift your hands. Like imagine you're lengthening your spine through your hands. Then soften, come down, and bring your hands with you. So if your spine was a string of pearls, that's kind of the mental image I want you to have. One pearl at a time. Lifts with a breath in. One pearl at a time comes down with an exhale. We're going to do that three more times like that. Inhale. Breath in. One more. Now keep your arms alongside your body. Press your feet down. Lift your butt up. So keep squeezing your rear end. If this feels good, keep your hands where they are. You want a little more, interlace the fingers and reach your fist towards your feet. And just pause. See if you can keep lifting the hips even higher. Five. Oh, that feels good. Four. Three. Two. One. You can let go. Soften and lower. And then be really gentle. Just drop your knees to the right, knees to the left. I'm going to do one more. Invaded his personal space. <laughs> so he, uh, he grabbed my pants. Crazy cat. Okay. So here we go. You're going to press your feet down. Lift your butt up. Interlace, reach, pause. Five, four, three, two, and, and let go. So nice and easy, you're going to hug your knees again in towards your chest. I'm going to squeeze, we'll rock to the right, rock to the left. Keep holding on to your right knee. I'm going to give it a big squeeze. Straighten the left leg long on the ground. Take both hands and grab underneath of your knee pit. Give it a squeeze. Heel up towards the sky. And we're going to do that three times. Let's inhale, bend. Exhale, straight. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten, and hold it. So right now, you should be feeling a lot of hammy. For some of you, you might even be able to grab higher. Some of you might be able to grab your big toe. 
So that's up to you, just depending on how flexible you feel today. So you're going to take a breath in. As you exhale, lift your head, your neck, your shoulders, like you're trying to kiss your knee. And then push your head right back down, but see if you can keep your leg with you. Slide your left leg along. Let your knee bend and cross. So my level one, folks, this might be where you stop. You're just gently pushing your knee away or use muscles to push the knee away. Next step, my level two, those of you who can do this, you're going to grab your knee on the opposite side. So you grab your left thigh and pull it in towards your chest. You should be feeling a stretch right in here through the bootay, the bootay. Now I grabbed above my knee. It just makes it, uh, helps me bring it closer. But if you need to, wherever you need to grab, it's all fine. Grab and feel in the booty. Hands open to a T or cactus, just depending on if you have space next to you or not. Take this right knee and drop it to the left. Look to the right. Take the same kitten caboodle. We're going to drop it to the right. Do not change your legs. Just drop it to the right look to the left. So when you do this side, you should feel it up here. Back to the center. Uncross. Pull the left thigh now in towards your body. Straighten the right leg. So it's an inhale, bend. Exhale, straight. So we're going to do it again. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. Last one, bend, straighten and hold. Remember, you can slide as high as it feels good for you. Ooh. Boink. Then, bend the right knee, cross, grab. Remember, you can grab the knee pit wherever it's easiest for you. Breathe. Feel the stretch. Again, right now we're in the butt cheek of the other side. So you're going to let go. Hands open to cactus or a T. Drop your knee to the right. Look to the left. Good, good, good. Little kitty buddy. Okay, and then we're going to go the other direction. Don't change your legs, just let it drop. Yes. Ow. Back to the center. Feet together, knees apart. One hand to your chest, one hand to your belly. Cover my belly. And then just close your eyes. For the next minute or so. There's nothing you have to do. There's nowhere you have to go. Just let gravity take your knees and stretch your inner thighs. Just kind of surrender into this moment. And I want you to imagine, what do you want? I want you to imagine the life you see. I want you to see your home your friends, your car, your vacations. I want you to see your career, your business, your family. I want you to see the life you imagine, your dream life. I want you to like be there and live there as if it's already happened. For some of you, it might have already happened, which is awesome. Now I want you to look at what is it going to take to get there? Even if you don't know, have you thrown your whole self 
and having that life? Or have you given yourself a back door? How would it feel to have that life? And I want you to start to erase your back doors. Take your hands now and close your knees like a book. Be really gentle. Just hug your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a huge squeeze. Rock and roll and bring yourself up to sit. And once you come to sit, just find your tallest spine. And bring your hands to your heart. I just want you to pause. We've given ourselves, we've given ourselves a back door. It's just what it is. And I think um, we all could just be so much more powerful so much more effective if we really just threw our whole selves at what we're after. Give yourself a big breath in and a full breath out. I'm gonna post that video on my uh, Facebook wall. So go to facebook.com slash Angela Hubs fitness professional and I'll make sure I post that video. I really want uh, this week to be a week of like really stepping over a line, like drawing a line in the sand that says I'm going to accept nothing else other than my best, other than my dreams. I accept nothing else other than what I know I deserve. So that is my dream my heart for you is that you get a chance to get the life that you want no excuses nothing just going that's my wish for me too <laughs> bring your thumbs to your third eye right in between your eyebrows may you only know peace bring your thumbs to your lips May you only speak truth. And lastly, bring your hands to your heart. May you be a light to all those you encounter. In the life that you lead, the work that you do, and the dreams that you pursue. Give yourself a bow. And this is for your time, your effort, and your energy. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. Have a wonderful day rest of the day. Let's commit 100% to that dream that you see.